Hey guys, welcome to another Facebook Live Q&A. Today we're here at Iron Mountain, Mountain Engines. <laughs> Sorry. <I did. laughs> but uh, this is basically where Micah's office is. This is where he works out of. Um, and then, as of course, we have Keith here with us. Um, basically what we want to do is give you guys a view on kind of what only a little bit of what Micah does here. We don't want to give away all the secrets and the traits, yeah, but... there's just too much tooling and all that. All the yeah. Through, but. yeah, we also don't want to show some secrets that, oh, yeah. that are in here. So mm -hmm. um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to have Micah give us a quick walkthrough. And when I say quick, it's going to be quick in that room. Uh, we can't give away too much. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let you take it over from here. All right. It's pretty noisy in that, so I don't know if they'll be able to hear us real good. Well, this is where we do all the machine work. And all the machining's done in this machine right here. Of a, a lot of um, all these other machines around you, they're capable of a lot, so there's a, a lot of tooling involved, a lot of measuring. It's uh, got to be very accurate for what we do. So, um, this is this is where we do all the machines. So, we'll go ahead and head back to the other one, right? Sure. We'll be able to hear it a lot easier. <laughs> Micah, how long have you been in this building? Been here a long time? Uh, eight years. Eight years. About eight years. Yeah. yeah. And did you start here or did you move into here? Did you start no, somewhere else? I, and... I moved into here. You moved yeah. into here. Uh -huh. So can you explain a little bit what's going on over here on the back wall and what you have going on with the setup? These are all engines that are being finished up. Um, these four right here are 44 black desks, the carbureted versions. There's a couple custom builds right here in the middle that we're working on, 7,000s. And then these are 44 EFIs, so fuel injection motors. Awesome. And so, then how many would you say that you're, you know, a round estimate producing on like a monthly basis or even a week? Um, about 450 a year. Oh, somewhere wow. Around there. So that, that's so, a good amount. Yeah. yeah. It, it, However every much week varies because of parts and things like that. Depends on how good Jason's doing his job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. You got to get him out the door, buddy. Right. Awesome. Yeah. No, that's great. And so you do a lot of performance parts here yeah. um, with the build dust and stuff like that. What mostly do you have come in here? Um, mostly the production motors, which are the 44s. So that's mostly the majority of what we're building. And where do you get mostly your parts to do that from? They're all backwater performance parts. So every part on all these motors, you know, we're all associated and they're all our parts. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Um, so Joshua Petty put, are you going to come out with any smaller motors with reverse? I don't. Right now, we've got the Kohler, I think it's a 26 and a half. That's the smallest reverse one we have. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to go any smaller. I think the only other one that they might be thinking about would be the little Vanguard 23 would be it. But I haven't heard anything about that going on yet. So, hard yeah. to say. There hasn't been much talk at all. No, not much it. talk no. at all. Yeah, not really. No, maybe uh, if a bunch of people request for it, maybe. You know, we'll think about it. But I don't know about that one. Um, so you, you did have some questions though from some previous customers. What we're gonna do is have Keith go ahead and read them off. We're gonna kick them out, answer those questions. And then as you guys are watching, go ahead and type in any questions that you might have for Micah, Keith, or I, um, and then we'll address those for you guys. Okay, here's one from Johnny Mosley. He says he has a 2008 HD 4000 and he's not running a rev limiter. What kind of RPM should he be running that thing at? Well, for one, he should get a rev limiter on it, but the rev limiters that he would need is a 4570, so that would be the max RPM that you would want to run that motor. Yeah, um, take, good cruising speeds, 4000 or so. Yeah, kind of taking a risk <laughs> not running a uh, rev limiter, especially yeah. if you're running and you hit something to throw that motor out of the water. Could be good night, Irene. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you're out in the timber or something, you know. Oh, you yeah. get that, pop right out, yeah. you know. Yeah. Nothing's going to... Yeah. I think that happened to one of our guys at the shop named Clint. He did that on the 7,000 about 
six years ago was yeah. his rev limiter <laughs> wasn't working, so he unplugged it, run in the river, hit something in the bottom of the river, shot that motor up, but when he brought it back, there was a nice crack right down the top of the block. <laughs> it was like, uh oh. <laughs> so let's see, what else do we got here? Don't don't pull a clint. Then. Yeah, don't pull a clint. <laughs> Use that rev limiter. If you don't yeah. have one, grab one, please. Uh, you can always also give a shout out to Clint right here on this post. <laughs> yeah. If you don't remember Clint, he was the one hiding last week. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> running. Yeah, running. That's well, somehow he hid behind that pole, though. He got it real good. <laughs> Ryan, <He's sneaky. laughs> Ryan asked if we had a network of um, Mud Buddy boats that are used or motors. He's looking to spend around $8,000. Uh, no, we don't, Ryan. Sorry. Just check local... Papers, Craigslist, those type of things. Check with your local dealers. They might have something around, but we don't have any type of network mm -hmm. um, at Mug Buddy at all. Sorry. One, one thing you can do, too, is you, if you actually don't Google, you can Google it. And there's actually a lot of sites on there, like Mud Motor Talk. There's a lot of guys on there yeah. on the forums and stuff. So um, just go ahead and Google it. Yeah. That's the best way of doing it. Also, got, if you're looking for an XL boat, you can go to the XL Boats owners page. A lot of times yeah. guys will post up some of the boats that they've got there if you're looking for a boat. Good to know. Got one for you, Jason. Uh, where'd it go? He says, if I want to share a video, who do I send it to? So if you guys want to share a video or an awesome photo or you want us to do a shout out for you, um, what you can do is go ahead and shoot me an email. It's jason at excelboats.net. Um, just kick it over to me. I don't go through all my emails because obviously we get a ton of them. Um, but if I do get to it, I will share it out on social media for you. Um, we are also doing a customer testimonial video. Um, so if you guys have any customer testimonials that you guys want to do and send into us, that would be great. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Another one. Throw another one right back at Jason. Where can I find my closest dealer? So if you guys are looking for a, a dealer on the Facebook page, on the homepage, bottom left-hand side, it will say locations. What you can do is go ahead and click on that. When you click on it, it will automatically pull up your closest dealer to you. Or you can go to mudbuddy.com, click on the dealer tab, and you'll be able to find your dealer right there. So pretty simple to do, to find a dealer that's close to you or a service center. Simple. Oh, most definitely simple. All right. Micah, here we go. Wayne Lynch asks, he's got a 44 Black Death, and he's looking to increase the horsepower. What's the best thing he can do to make her go faster? Uh, the next thing you want to do is put a camshaft in it. We've got really good cams for them. They make a lot of power, and that'll bump you up to about 50 horse. So that's that's the next thing I would do on it. Awesome. Um, so we have Shane Skinner here, and he says, when do I get my boat that I'm going to win? Laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to know. I get a few people asking, <laughs> when does that boat giveaway end? And I have no idea. So Thank the boat giveaway, know. we're trying to get everything collected, and you guys have been very patient with us. Um, and I will note on this, keep submitting in till the end of the month. Someone asked earlier about when's the end date for submitting. Keep going all the way to the very end of the month. Um, most likely it's going to be the last day of the month of February that we announce the winner. We just want to make sure everything's together and perfect so, you know, no one's bummed out. <laughs> and I, I do know that there's a lot of stuff in Jason's office that's going to go with that boat. Some there, nice looking there, there, apparel there. and some decoys and there's, there's tons a, of stuff. There's so. a, ton, I, a ton of stuff in my office and I'm ready to kick it out to you guys <laughs> anytime. Um, so we have Joshua Dooley's. Any plans to offer training to have more authorized service providers across the U.S.? If you're looking to be a service provider, um, you can go ahead and send me at Keith, it's K-E-I-T-H, at mudbuddy.com. Just send me uh, your, some brief info. I will uh, send you a form that you'll need to fill out, then that'll go to our general manager yeah. and go from there. But we're kind of looking for guys who have um, a storefront or some type of repair shop is what we want to do. We really don't want anybody just working out of the backyard. No, yeah, so. no, yeah. yeah. You must be certified, and right. I'm sure there's certifications you have to have. Yep. You have to yeah. state code, city code, and everything, right? right? Yeah. Right. Business license is good, and also if you do get in with Mud Buddy Service Centering and that kind of stuff, we will bring you here um, and get you some training in the shop with Mud Buddy. We'll show you how to fix and repair all the quick little tricks that we have to make the job a lot easier too. Yeah. So there's some perks to doing it 
if you can qualify and get, and get in it. So who was the one that asked about the 44 getting more power? Oh, that was... Uh, uh, we'll see. It we'll was see on here. There. Come on, baby. <laughs> uh, that was Wayne Lynch. Wayne on there. Dwayne Lynch. Yeah, we're going to give uh, Echo call for that. That was a good question. Yep, so, so make sure to PM us your information. Um, and you won this e Echo call from yep. Echo Calls, and it's a Timber Double, Double Reef. Double Reef, right? Yeah, yep. and that, that's awesome. Oh, I man. Know. Yeah, that's a good, this is a good call. Yeah. Rick Dunn and his boys make some good calls. Oh, they kill yep. it every time, man. Yep. Um, Brent put, nice shirt, Micah, digging the plaid. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Favorite <laughs> color, blue. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Petty put, love your motors, have a 37, best motor ever owned. Um, you know what, Joshua, what I'm going to do too, yep. since we're doing that, uh, um, just for that testimonial, um, we're going to go ahead and give you this Duck, um, Duck Deals Waterfowl Club t shirt. Nice. Um, and this is actually from Duck Deals. You can go to duckdeals.com and they have some pretty cool stuff over there as well. Um, so Blake Thomas says, what's a feller got to do to get an HDR shirt in 2XL? I'm really a medium, but they seem to run small. They do run small. Yeah, <laughs> they do. That's um, a big difference though, from a medium to a double XL. <laughs> uh, Blake, you're gonna have to um, reach out to Keith and beg him and maybe something might happen, I don't know. <laughs> if you were um, watching a little early, I gave you my email address. So yeah. if not, watch it back in. My email address is on there. If you catch me in the right mood, it might happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, or you can go on to our Facebook, and the first top three people to go write a good review about us will send you a t-shirt. That sounds oh, good. Nice. We yeah. can do that. Yep. I good. think that's a good idea. And then PM yep. us on social media or email Keith at Keith at Cool. Um, so we have James here. He said, we'll replace motor if by lawn mower motor. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. That no, is. no. Uh, let's move on. So, Mark, what is the best prop for open water hunting? Mm, either the Raptor or the Big Blade. One of the two is good open water prop. I mean, they, they all run decent in open water. Um, so I would. That um, really goes back to what you're running too, does? Is it? Horse power wise, running? boat size, load, all that. Yeah. Yeah. It does, yeah. But they're all, all those props run pretty good in the open water. Awesome. So we have Luke Irons here. He says, how about 44 Sport B on a 1754 XL F4? Having terrible problem with uh, for poising. Um, I have two six gallon tank trolling motor and battery toolbox all up front. Still have, um, no help. Any suggestions? So you've got a porpoising problem. Yeah. That's what he's yeah. got. Yeah. Um, what? Was it XL? Yeah, 1754. Yeah. What they can do is they can put a bead across the bottom in the back, and that'll take care of the porpoising problem. I don't know if he's got maybe a hook in his boat, or you know that's just a little dent underneath it, and that'll make him porpoise. So uh, I would first try to play with your load in the boat and see if you can rearrange it a little bit and try to smooth it out a little bit more. No, oh, definitely. Um, and then Joshua Petty put in, can we expect something even bigger than the 4400 soon? Um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know. Yeah, but but coming there's, soon, there's we, stuff coming. we can't <laughs> say, but we <laughs> will say we are my buddy and we are awesome, so we always like to make sure we're number one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we do have Cody Adams here, he says, what's better for a hunting timber, a three blade or a two blade prop? Probably the two blade. The two yeah. blade? Yeah, it just depends on the on the heavier boats I would go with the two blade. But the, the two blade seems to grab pretty decent in that in that, muck. in that mucky water and the timber yeah, and that stuff. Normally if you've got a motor that's HDR with reverse that that three blade's a no brainer because it works so well in reverse. Oh yeah. So and the it, reverse is good in the timber. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's kind of a catch twenty two. Um, you know, if you've got reverse, I would definitely run a Raptor. Awesome. Um, Joshua Dooley, I'm not looking to be a provider, but not thrilled about handing a high-performance motor to an unauthorized engine shop, and warranty work isn't fun to obtain at this point. And that was his comment about the um, 
becoming a dealer. Oh, becoming a, a dealer. dealer. Yeah. 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 You just have to find the local guy. Um, I'm you, sure you could take if you bought parts from Backwater Performance, you could probably take it to any good Briggs and Stratton dealer, and they can put those parts in them. There's nothing secret to the parts themselves. I mean, they fit in the same way as the stock stuff that you pulled out. As long as they know about the engine, they can get it yeah. put together fairly easy. And if they have any questions or anything like that, I'm always available to answer. Um, you can call me or email me. And so how would they get a hold of you? Just Micah at mudbuddy.com is probably the best way to get a hold of me. And I mean, so, we're already here at your shop, so if you're having a problem, yeah. get a hold of them. Yeah, you, you can, can see I'm on the phone now. usually all day. <laughs> 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 I, ca I try calling him all the time and he ignores my calls. I swear. Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and two, you know, you can send the motor here to Micah. Yeah, you know, he yeah. puts out all of our motors. Can, he knows what he's doing. So don't be afraid. To reach out to him and say, hey, I'm shipping my motor. This is what I want you to do. And I'm sure he can fit you in the bank somewhere. Yep. I was going to say, if, especially yeah. since you're the man behind the scenes, I mean, right. I mean, look at it. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're getting it done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting it done. And I don't know if he was looking for somebody local because sometimes people don't want to dismantle their motor off the boat, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're willing to ship it, definitely ship it to us, you know, we'll take care of it. Awesome. Um, so, I have Joshua Dooley said these live Q&As are great. Thanks, Thanks Joshua. Thank you. Appreciate, appreciate it, it man. Yeah. Um, we have Tanner Lazowski. Can't say enough about my buddy uh, customer service. Keith, you have been a great help. On my adventures with my 37 EFI. Hey Tanner, <laughs> appreciate the shout out, bro. Uh, here comes your new Mud Buddy Sitka Timber hat. So nice make hat. sure you uh, that DM was, us your address and all that. That was for my person. I paid to go on here and say I'm hey. the best, though. <laughs> We've got more at the shop. You can just reuse all right. it. All right. PM us your uh, information, bro, and we'll get that hat out to you. Yeah. Uh, um, so Joshua Petty puts. Uh, what was it about the shirt? My phone was cutting in and out, heard my name, um, then seen up hold the shirt. Joshua Petty, you won a shirt, so make sure to PM us your address and information. Um, the shirt, once again, that you won is from Duck Deals Waterfowl Club, um, and also send us your shirt size so we can get you the right one. <coughs> um, Justin Morales, I love my, bud, my buddy Longshaft on my 13 HP Kohler. Makes the South Florida swamps easy scooting. Nice. Thanks, yep. man. Yeah, thank yep. you. Thank you. And those are awesome for they the are. for out that yep. way too. No doubt about it. Um, Cody Adams says, thank you guys. Taylor Lightsey, he's here every week. He says, what's up? Taylor. Taylor. You guys got my support. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, and then Chase put, when is the Mud Buddy slash XL boat giveaway? Once again, we'll answer that. That's at the end of February on the 31st. Um, we're not quite... 28th. 28th. We're <laughs> actually not February. quite sure yet. Um, <laughs> the biggest thing is we have so much stuff in that giveaway that we're getting it all together, making sure we're getting ready to ship it out, and we will do a Facebook Live that day to announce it. Cool. Um, ben put, I was at Mallard Estates earlier, uh, early January, and the Mud Buddies paired with their sailboats was awesome. They had it in the water. I never would have put a boat in. Good work. Thanks. Yep. Awesome. And then uh, we got Brent. He says, does Mud Buddy have an all stainless outdrive for a 4,500 blackjack? Been hunting the coast lately and starting to get surface rust. Yeah, we do. We make it. Uh, it's uh, aluminum housing. The tube and the cone are stainless steel. Uh, you can pick that up. Uh, call Travis at Backwater Performance. He can hook you up with that new stainless steel drive. So it'll, it'll help a lot with the rust and the powder coating also. And the skigs. The skigs steel, stainless right? steel too. Yeah. And uh, we put an anode on those too. Yep. So mm -hmm. that helps quite a bit. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, Joshua Petty. Okay, thanks. You guys are awesome. And we'll always be a mud buddy for life. Best mud motors I've ever ran. Absolutely love them. I think that's a new glad. tattoo for you, Jason. Yeah, Mud Buddy for life. I'll put it right here for you. He's got room. Name <laughs> My wife will. <laughs> yeah, let's not go sure, there. Mud Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Glenn, I will do it if you pay yeah. me. <laughs> Mud Buddy for life. <laughs> um, Brian Grimms, I hunt little bit of open water rivers. Any input on Mud Buddy motors to use? Um, depends on what size boat you're going to be using, you know. Um, and if you're looking for reverse, um, normally in a current reverse is really good to have. So um, HDR, yeah. I would Check totally go out. with the HDR. We go out on the HDR all the time, mm -hmm. um, and I love it. And the reverse is great. 
It just yep. runs perfectly. Um, James put, what even breakdown while at water and ice don't have other motor with it when you get stuck there? Do you understand I, that? I, I don't oh. understand. James, uh, resend that in to us. Um, Glade Harris with backwater performance, but why are the cylinder heads on the 4400 better than stock, and how are they machined? They're all CNC machined. Um, they're ported and polished with the CNC. They're decked. They've got bigger valves, um, different angles on the seats. So there's a, a lot of machine work that goes into them, and um, that's why they produce so much power. Yeah. Uh, real quick, so if you guys do want to get some performance parts, make sure to go to Backwater Performance on their social media. Um, they are doing uh, Facebook Lives on Wednesdays as well, so go make sure to check that out. Yep. Um, Brenders put great, cool, thanks guys. Um, Brooks put great product backed by great people. Oh, thanks, appreciate it. You're so kind. We try. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, glad on those heads too. If uh, anybody's looking to upgrade their motor and they're they're looking to do some heads or any performance parts, get a hold of Backwater Performance. They'll they've got all, everything you need. Yeah. So, no, that's awesome. Yeah. And then if you guys want true service, go to Micah. <laughs> yeah, I'll build it for you. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, go through Backwater and uh, we'll take care of you guys. So we got Chris Rockwell here. He says, Keith, you've been great helping me getting things running on my sport. B36 with the lower unit issues I've had. Is there any chance I can send you all the Sport B back and y'all can send me an HBR instead? Laugh out loud. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to be able to help you do that, bro, but I think uh, your best option there would be probably to sell it and buy an HBR. Send us yeah. the send us that with ten thousand oh, dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> send your V and it will <laughs> um, Joshua uh, Patty puts most all this just shows the kind of guys these are. People who value the customers. High amount of respect to each and every one of you guys. God bless you guys. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks, Thank Josh. You. Thank you. Uh, Brian Grimes put thanks. Uh, Jason Plinard put, how much are the heads decked on the 4400 um, Black Death? They're 20,000. So. Awesome. So um, we're going to cut this one short here, but basically, well, actually, uh, real quick, Jeff, do we have any other questions? That's all I've got for awesome. right now. So real quick, I want to do one more walk around real quick with you, Micah. Okay. Show everything, everything, and then we'll give you guys a good farewell. Yep. Um, so go ahead and go over everything in case people are just new joining on here. This is just kind of assembly. You know, we do an assembly line pretty much on them. And um, we've got different model motors that we're building. Like I was telling them earlier, you know, these are... These are like in the halfway stage of being done. Those are the 44 EFIs. And um, these ones here, so they're kind I, of... I do have a question though. So, so something like this, when it arrives here and you set it up here, how long, how long is the process to complete it? Oh, it's, it's hard to say it, it, because we do them in batches. So if I did just one, um, depending on how many guys I had on it, you know, it, it would depend on the time. So it, it, there's a, at least a couple hours in machining the heads and getting the heads done. So. Cool, cool. And then what do you have over here? These are the 4400? Yeah, these ones have the McCooney carb kit and the Iron Mountain heads. They're the 44 black vests and they're the carbureted models. So, awesome. um, so there's people that don't want nothing to do with fuel injection. They're a lot simpler, so they go with the carburetor. So I heard Glade was saying that we were going to be able to take out his airboat, right? Yeah, yeah, he, that's what he said. Awesome. I've always wanted to go in an airboat, Glade. <laughs> and, yeah, and so we'll be doing a Facebook Live, maybe, from Glade's <laughs> airboat from Backwater Performance. Yep. <laughs> um, so real quick, Delane, but are the current BPS heads the same specs as older Iron Mountain heads? Um, the current ones, it depends on how old they are. If they're older than about a year and a half, they're definitely different. So. Awesome. Joshua Petty put nice air bump. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And then we'll do one more walk through this way. I'll let you take it.
take a peek in here. just to get them within a tent so they're all perfectly ground. So can I do a burnout for everyone real quick here? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I love I love You got the cojones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thank you guys for being here live with us. We greatly appreciate it. If you still have questions, make sure to comment. We'll be on there. Or email Keith at mudbuddy.com and Micah at mudbuddy.com yep. as well. Um, and once again, thank you guys, and you guys have thank a you. great weekend. All right, we'll see you. Yeah.